Okay, welcome back. What I want to continue with is looking at Unit 307, uh, Reasons for Inspection and Testing. Okay, uh, and we look at Section 3, Reasons for Inspection and, and Testing. Okay. Now, again, we're looking at Unit 307. And we'll carry on from that point, okay? Now we're looking at outcome two, okay? Understand the principles and regulatory requirements for inspecting, testing, and commissioning electrical systems, equipment, and components. Now, by the end of this outcome, you will have had the opportunity to state the purpose and requirements for initial verifications, etc., etc. Identify the requirements of the relevant documents associated with inspection, testing, and commissioning of an electrical installation. Specify the information required to conduct an initial verification in accordance with the IEE regulations and IEE guidance notes. Now please note IEE and IET, Institute of Electrical Technology, is relevant to this in every way, okay? Okay, revision. It is vital that you understand the importance of the role you undertake when inspecting and testing. You are responsible if you get it wrong, okay? The EWRs 12, 13, 14, 16 cover the legal requirements for safe inspecting. Extensive planning must be done before any inspecting takes place. Safe working practices must be followed at all times. You must be able to locate suitable points for safe isolation. You must know the sequence for carrying out safe isolation. You must know that you keep any keys or other locking devices on your person at all times. Okay. Session three, reasons for inspection and testing. In this session, the student will state the purpose of initial verification and periodic inspection of electrical installations, identify and interpret the relevant documents associated with the inspection and testing of electrical installations, specify the information required to correctly conduct initial verification of an electrical installation and in accordance with the IE regulations and GN3. And again, I will repeat IE regs, IET regulations. Now, initial verification.
initial, initial verification, what do we mean by initial verification? We are looking at a new installation to make sure that it is safe to use, meets the design specifications. Sorry, let me just get this out of the way a second. Meets the design specifications. It's fit for purpose. It must also meet the requirements of BS7671. We are giving it we are giving it its first check. The purpose is to confirm by inspection and testing both during construction and on completion that the installation complies with both the design and construction requirements and the relevant aspects of BS 7671. And again, that is the IET, IEE regulations. I repeat, IET, IEE regulations. Okay. Periodic inspection and testing. Now, this is for you to read for yourselves. Um, I don't need to do anything on this. You can read this for yourself and you can pause it to look at it. You need to know this for your own application and for the job that you are going to be doing or be called upon to do. And the same thing here, BS761, 7671, BS7671 7671 requirements for initial verification. These regulations here, now it's of, it is your responsibility to make sure that these are still compliant to, in regards to today's IET, IEE regs. Okay? That is your job. Now here again, BS7671 requirements for periodic inspection and testing, continuation with regards to the regulations specified. Now again, make sure that these are still compliant with today's regulations, which is relevant to the 18th edition. Okay. Now the required relevant information, again, this is for you to read and look at the electricity and work regulations. Those are specific. Okay. Now electricity and work regulations. Excuse me. Now, I'm not going to read this out to you, but you can see that Electricity and Work Regulations 1989 Act. That is for you to read and to make yourself a familiar with because it is relevant to your work, it is relevant to your job. You have a responsibility for the safety of others. Make sure you comply with it. Now, duty holder, this means you are as guilty as your employer if a mistake is made, okay? Remember that you have a responsibility as the engineer or electrician doing an installation. Take it seriously, okay? Because you can now be prosecuted for anything you may or may not have done in regards to the eyes of the law.
carry out the inspection uh, etc again here you can see 1989 regulations comes into play okay I don't need to read this out to you, you can read this for yourselves okay And again, 18th edition. Okay, now you can see here that we add current regulations, 18th edition. Make sure that each of these are still compliant in regards to yourselves and that they still meet the criteria. Look and examine and check for any changes which may have taken place, which you may need to know about. It is your job. Get it done. And here you have IT guidance notes free. I'm not going to read this up to, to you again, but section 2.6.2, make sure that it is still relevant as it should be in the 18th edition of the IEET regs. Health and safety executive, etc. Be aware that these people have the power to carry out their own inspections as such. And look at their guidance leaflet for in regards to electrical safety testing. Okay, information here is for you to read and that is for you to know and get familiar with the full task of reading this information for yourselves, okay? And again, regulation 311.1, etc., 312.1. These are general characteristics that you need to be able to carry out the inspecting and testing. Okay. And these are your general characteristics, relevance, that you need to know and must be in place. And here I've simply said to take the time to write your own questions. Okay. Okay, that will be it. Thank you. Um, I hope you have found this useful. Okay. Have a good day. Bye bye.